Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree, and welcome to the assembly video for our riding mower box card. Now this is intended for Father's Day, but uh, you can simply omit a few things and pretty much give it for any occasion. A perfect little masculine card. So uh, at first, when you get everything cut out, it may seem a little overwhelming uh, because of all the little pieces and this and that, but we're gonna go through everything systematically and just kind of put, put some things together um, just so that the final assembly goes a lot smoother. So we're going to start off by putting the wheels together. They're made up of three layers. We've got two small ones in front and two larger ones in back. Let me put these in frame here so you can see. You've got the large solid circle, then we have this gear-like looking thing, and then we have another element on top. So we have two of those. And then the same thing goes for the two small ones. Okay, so let's just get those put together. And we'll just kind of go through and get everything assembled. Okay, so I'm just going to put some glue on this little gear-like element. Now there's a hole in the center that we're going to put a brad on or through to adhere it to the actual structure itself. Okay, you can use a little brayer if you want. Kind of speed things up. Okay, so we got that, and then we'll take this guy here. Uh, we went with a very rustic, oxidized sort of look uh, for the majority of the bundle. Uh, so with something like that, you can feel a little more free when it comes to inking and distressing. You don't have to be all perfect about it. Okay, so there's one. Let's go to the next one here. And I know not everybody, not every guy, some of you guys, some guys just have a push mower if you don't have a lot of land, but knowing our demographic, many of you either know a guy, <laughs> personally, I love, I love getting on the mower. I'll put my headphones in, listen to some podcasts, some, um, uh, some news, some music, and just kind of zone out. It's, uh, it's almost like a, a, it's another little meditation, I guess you could say. All right, so these two are done. And again, don't forget, we're going to be going to be putting some brads through here like that. I'm just going to put those in just for now, just to have them ready to go. And this thing's actually pretty easy to put together. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing with the smaller wheels. Very simple. A lot of paper piecing and then ultimately at the end, just kind of putting things in place. Okay, so just line it up with that little hole there in the center. And then take your tiny little donut. And we'll get that in place. Just like that. There we go. Okay. And just pop that brad in there just to have it ready to go. And the last one. So again, we went with, uh, just to tie it in with the rest of the bundle, we kind of went with, uh, you know, the color scheme on this is very kind of earthy, oxidized, distressed, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but obviously, there's a handful of brands of riding mowers out there, so you could definitely take and Let's say, uh, you know, maybe, maybe your husband or your son, whoever it is, maybe they've got themselves a Cub Cadet or a John Deere. You can just follow, just, you know, do a, do a Google search for that specific brand and you'll see what their color schemes are. Uh, John Deere has the, you know, the typical green, Cub Cadet yellow, Husqvarna is like an orange. You get the idea here. Okay, so the wheels are done. Uh, we're gonna work on the front of the riding mower here. So we're gonna start off with this piece here. Now, if you are doing a red, and this is kind of a dark red, uh, if you're having a hard time finding something as far as inks that will work, use a purple. Uh, purple is made of a little bit of red and you won't really see the purple. If anything, what it'll do is just kind of darken the red. 
So if you're ever having a hard time inking red, go with purple. Okay, so this piece is gonna go on here, just like that. Okay, there we go. And then we have the little, uh, little fender and it's just going to go right on the bottom. Just go easy with the glue here. These are all very small, delicate little pieces that don't need a whole heck of a lot of glue. Okay, and that's going to go flush at the bottom. And you can see how it's nice and rounded. Just match that up as accurately as you can. There we go. I just looked on the back of that. It's like a Christmas pattern. No, no, no. Too soon for that. I feel like we can't even get out of winter yet, and it's almost May. Okay, next we have the little headlamps. And obviously there's two, one on each side. The flat side is going to go right here, and you can see kind of the shadow element of that headlamp. So just match that up as accurately as you can, like so. We'll do the same thing with the other side real quick. We'll get that in place. And then we went with a silver foil to act as our actual headlamp. Like so, there we go. And the little silver part is gonna go right in the center of this. You wanna to try to maintain an even border all the way around and you want it flush with the side Okay, I gotta give that a little bit of a nudge down. There we go, perfect. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And then we have kind of like, I guess, where you would have the logo for the model or make of the mower. This is a little oval element that we're gonna put in place here in just a second. So I'm gonna start off with the larger oval, in my case, a silver foil. And you can see the, the little, uh, little shadow element for where that goes. So pop that right into place. And then we have, oh, give that a little nudge. There we go. And then we have a little orange element in my case. It's kind of a, kind of a folly color actually. And that's gonna go right in the center, even border all the way around. A tiny little piece, you can do it though. And we're gluing cardstock to foil. Foil is a little slippery sometimes. So once you get it in place, try not to move it around too much. Okay. So there is that. Can put that off to the side and <clears throat> can work on the two sides of the mower. Okay. I've got these pieces here. Now, one side is going to have a lot of details on it. The other side is going to have a little panel. Uh, it's relatively small, but I think it's enough for you to write a little sentiment. Happy Father's Day, love you dad, whatever you wanna write on there. You can even have your machine write it. That would work too, whoops. Okay, so this little element here, you can see where it's gonna go. So I'm gonna match that up with the shadow layer behind it. Okay, there we go. Press that into place. And then this is your little panel where you're gonna do your writing. And we'll get that glued down. That's going to have a little even, uh, nice even border all the way around. Okay, so just pop that right into place. Try to maintain that even border. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, now uh, also on one side, the side that has this blank panel, this is the mowing deck here. We're going to put that together real quick. Okay. And it's made up of these two pieces. So go ahead and get your glue on this little guy. And that's going to go right here. You can see where this little cutout is just to make it two toned. And then one side of the mower deck has that, that little piece. that's kind of a, a deflector. So the grass doesn't go flying in your face and all over the, all over the place. It actually keeps it, keeps it down. And you can see that here. And you'll also notice that we do have some little markers and indicators here to help you with this section here. So all we need to do is apply a little bit of glue to this little tab. 
And I'm going to spread that glue out nice and thin. And you just want to match that up with the little marker there. And you can, you can push this down flat. We only have glue on that little tab. Okay, there we go. And then we have some little wheels for the Modec. And these, we're going to take, we have these tiny little pieces that are going to go in the center of the black piece, like so. If you need to use a little pick-me-up tool or something at this point, that's fine. These are pretty small pieces, might be a little difficult to work with, but shouldn't be too bad. Okay, we're going to do that real quick. Get this little piece inside the larger piece. Go easy on the glue so it doesn't go shooting everywhere. Get that nice and centered. Might help to pick it up and bring it close to your face so you can see it because it is pretty tiny. Okay, and then um, you could either glue those down flat if you want or to give it a little extra dimension. Uh, let me see if these foam squares are too big. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to cut these in half. You can do this with pretty much any foam squares. You can just cut them like that. And I may actually cut them even smaller. Sometimes that makes it a little difficult to work with, but I just have to know which side the sticky is on and you'll be fine. There we go. Okay. And you can see the little shadow element for where the wheel goes. Just pop that right into place like so. Mine's a little bit off. There we go. And I've got one more here. There we go. Uh, you could probably use some Zots too, those 3D Zots, or even hot glue will give it a little dimension since it's kind of thick. Okay, so there is the mowing deck. We've got that in place. And we have this piece all done. So let's put that off to the side. And let's go over to the other side of our tractor here, or riding mower, whatever you want to call it. And let's move this out of the way. Okay, so with this piece here, we're going to start off with this large piece. And you can see exactly where that's going to go. So we'll flip her over and begin applying our glue nice and easy. Don't need to overdo it. Otherwise, you're going to have glue shooting out everywhere. Try to get some on that little thin area there, too. And I always like to hit it with my finger a little bit so that in case I got too much glue on there, it doesn't come shooting out because it is a pretty small little area. Okay, we'll match that up as accurately as we can. There we go. Beautiful. Just about. Wonderful. Okay, and we have this little piece that's going to kind of fit in like a little puzzle little accent piece for the side of the mower. Pop that right in there. Should fit like a glove. Perfect. Okay, next, we got this little piece here. Let me get our glue on that. Nice and thin. Again, if you got a little too much on there, just dab it with your finger. It makes it nice and tacky. And we'll prevent it from prevent it from going all over the place. There we go. Perfect. Okay, next we have this little piece. I have this in a silver foil. This is part of the part of the fender, the front fender. I'm just going to match that up with the very bottom here. Okay. Perfect. And then of course we have a headlight, and there's two pieces that look similar. Uh, in my case, the silver foil is a little bit smaller, so we're going to start with the larger piece and get that in place. And that is going to go right here. It's going to be flush with the top and left of this piece that's underneath it, like so. And then we'll take the silver foil part, and that's going to go in there on top of the piece that we just put down with an even border all the way around. And it's going to be flush with the front. Okay, so just try to get that, 
Try to get that even border there if you can. Perfect. Okay. All right, so that is uh, almost done. Not quite. Got this piece here. Okay. Just missed this one piece here. Let's get that in place. Same piece as we had on the other side. Oops. Okay, just line that up as accurately as you can. There we go. Press that down into place. Rub off any excess you may have. All right, so that's ready to go. We have another mower deck for the other side to assemble. So assembly is exactly the same as the other one. So all these little pieces are slowly finding their place. And in just a moment here, we're gonna start putting together the main structure for this thing, which is pretty simple. And I know many of you have made box cards in the past, so this should be pretty familiar. I mean, obviously you've never made this one, but the process is pretty much the same. Okay, so again here we've got the little circle going on top of the big circle. Try to get that as centered as you can. Sometimes with little pieces like this, it could be a little challenging. That's why uh, the little pick-me-up tool is super handy because it kind of gets your fingers out of the way. It's got a little tacky tip that'll hold the paper in place for you so you can do what you need to do. And then usually there's another tip on the other side of this that you can use to do this. And I'm just going to use my finger because... That's fine. Okay. All right, so those are in place. We can flip these over and I'm gonna grab my scissor here and just cut, just cut another one of these. Maybe I can go, can I go? Yeah, that actually works. It hides it pretty well. Probably should have done that with the other side, but it's okay. Okay. So again, just match that up, line it up as accurately as you can on that shadow element. And almost done here. With all these little elements. Can't wait to see what this is gonna look like. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you go anywhere, mister. There we go. Okay. All right, so that is set. A couple more things here to put together, almost done. Uh, we've got this little piece here. It's gonna go on the back behind the chair. And this red piece needs to go on top of that shadow element there. So get your glue flowing. Let's get going. And pop that right into place. All right, so this piece is in place. I've got a couple more things here. We have this element and a steering wheel. We doubled up the steering wheel here. You can do it back to back so that we have texture on both sides. So let's do that. Nice and easy with the glue. It's almost like a little smiley face actually. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to adhere this to this part here. And you can see that we have kind of half of it on there like this. So what we need to do is just apply some glue to this element here. Okay, and then we'll take our little steering wheel. You can actually put this down flat if it's easier for you. And just line that up nice and easy. Press that down into place. Okay, and there's gonna be our little steering wheel. Okay, so that part is done. And then we have just a couple little elements for the chair. Okay, now you'll notice that this one's a little different shaped. Okay, and that's gonna go right here at the top. And then we have the little detail for the bottom of the seat. Go easy on the glue here, nice and thin. And I tried to ink as much as I could just to tie it all together. There we go. That looks good. And then this little guy here, we've got, uh, it's 
kind of more square up here and round on the bottom. The square part's going to go right where the, the top cushion meets the bottom cushion. Okay, just like that. And you're going to put it right up to the score mark. You don't want to encroach over it, obviously, because then it won't fold up. But that is what you want that to look like. Okay, and then while we're here, we have this element, and what we can do is actually take this and glue this to this black element. So just throw some glue on just the top part. Okay, and that's gonna go right here. Just match that up as accurately as you can. And that bottom part, it's gonna be kind of free flowing. There's a section that it will sit on. The seat will sit on something. Okay, and then, oh, you know what? I almost forgot here. And I lost a piece because it was so small. So don't, don't do what I just did. Uh, on the actual hood here, we're gonna take our little dad element. And now, again, this is one of those things where if you're not making it for a dad and you're making it for someone else, you can omit this piece completely and just leave the hood. You can put that little, uh, that little trim piece on the bottom if you want. Okay, so that's gonna go flush with the very bottom here. So I'm kind of using my fingers to push it into place. Give it a nudge to the right. That looks good. And then we have a little trim piece that's gonna go on the bottom of that. There we go. And that's gonna be flush with the bottom. There we go. Okay, and the piece that I'm missing here is the little square that goes in the middle of the pound sign. Uh, it's probably somewhere. I'm sure once we get everything done, it'll show up. But that's just going to go right there. Pretty much just center it. And I will have to either locate it or recut it. But you're going to need to glue that in place here. Rather than making it like three layers, we just decided that. We'll just have you put that one piece in there. It wasn't worth the extra paper. Okay, get that nice and centered. Press that down into place. And now all of our pieces are pretty much ready to go. A uh, couple little notes here. On some of these elements that we're going to be gluing into the main structure, we have these little tabs. And you want to make sure that you do not put any glue on these and you want to stick them out they're gonna help keep some of the things elevated properly. Okay, so you have one there, and then you have one here as well. Uh, and then there's also a couple here on the front of this thing, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and begin putting together the main structure here. So this is, this is uh, the main, main piece, I'll call it. And what you wanna do is find the piece that coincides with this side here. Okay. And you'll have one of these. The reason we did an extra one of these is just to reinforce the little holes where the wheels are going to go so that it doesn't rip through the paper. Okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to start off by gluing this down right here onto that tab. I'm just going to match that up with the little hole um, where the brad's going to go. So go ahead and apply your glue to that tab. And I'm going to spread that glue out all the way grab this piece here and we're going to line that up with the little hole for the brad make sure that that round part on the bottom is lined up nicely and then you can actually put this down flat and press to really help it grip okay there we go now we're going to do the same thing on the front here and again remember this little tab here do not put glue on it you want it sticking out and it's going to go behind this like so so we can go ahead and put glue on this entire element, just like that. There we go. And line this up. I think I'm gonna hold it this way. Line that up. Kind of focusing on, well, all of it mostly, but especially the little hole with the brad and this round piece here where the wheel's gonna go. Make sure that's lined up accurately. And then you can go ahead and put this down flat. And before you do anything else, make sure you pop that tab back out. 
Okay, so there's that. And now there's a couple elements. Well, actually, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna work on the exterior first. Um, this piece here, this is just again to reinforce these holes, and it's gonna make it a little more rigid. So we can go ahead and apply glue to this entire element and get it in place. We're gonna start building the features on the outside, and then we'll finish off by putting the elements inside. Just a few little things that we need to glue to the inside to finish it off, okay? But again, just do your best to get this lined up as accurately as possible. Again, I'm focusing on that little area there and then just kind of working my way around. Make sure you don't glue those tabs down on accident. Okay, so that worked out nicely. I'm gonna put this down flat and press. Get that whole thing to really get a good grip. I'll open it up. Again, making sure that tab doesn't get glued down. There we go. Okay. And really these are like the two elements that we're gonna to need to put inside in just a moment. But for now, let's start I accidentally got some glue on there, it's okay. Let's start by putting together, well, I guess we can just put, let's start on the back here. And this is gonna go right here, like so. Okay, so you can see where that goes. So let's apply our glue to the back of this. Nice and easy. Okay. And just tuck it right in there. Make sure it's flush with the top and nice and centered here. There we go. And then once you have it, you can go ahead and put it down flat and press down. There we go. And the whole time we're working on this, we're going to make sure that we keep going back and forth and that it actually sits flat on both sides. Or I'm sorry, what I mean is that it will actually fold flat both ways. That's what I should have said. Okay, so we got that. Let's go to the front and we can put our little front piece on here. And that's just gonna go right here like so. Okay, pretty simple. So go ahead and apply your glue to this entire piece. And you can see what I mean here. We started off by just piecing things together and now that we have the main structure together, things just kind of are flowing nicely. Match that up as accurately as you can. Again, this can go down flat once you have it so that you can just press down gently. Okay, got it. Looking good. Put the wheels on last, I think, so that we don't end up crushing them or or doing anything silly to them, okay? All right, so we got that. Next, we can put one of the sides in place. So this one's gonna go here, like so, okay? You can see how that matches up. So let's flip this over. We're gonna apply glue to this entire structure here on the back. And then the wheels are gonna go over it, obviously. That's why we're gonna do that last. Go very gently, nice and easy. Get that nice and lined up. Okay, and again, very gently press that down flat to help you get it all in place. And it should match up here on the front. And there we go. Look at that. Okay, and then on this side here, as I mentioned. This is the side that does not have that little, that little guard, okay? So this, this is gonna go right here, like so. And we can actually glue that on now. So let's do that, nice and easy with the glue. And all this black on black sometimes makes it hard to see just where you're putting stuff. So be, be cautious. Okay, put that down flat, press it into place, looking sharp. Okay, look at that. All right, let's go over to the other side. 
And then we've got this piece, it's gonna go right here. I accidentally blemished that with a little bit of ink off my finger. I might just cover that up, we'll see. Or just say that that's, uh, someone had a little mowing accident and brushed up against a, a sappy tree or something. I don't know, just making stuff up. Okay, let's line that up as accurately as possible. There we go. And again, very gently put that down flat, press down. Just make sure everything's making good contact. There we go. Our mower's coming together here. Okay, back to the other side here. And the mowing deck is gonna go in place right here, as you can see. So let's apply our glue. There we go. And we'll just match that up with the existing shadow element there. Make sure it's lined up as accurately as possible. And then just give that a press. There we go. Okay. All right, next, a uh, few things here. We're gonna start with the, I'm gonna start with this chair here. This is actually gonna go right in the back here. Oh, you know what, I have a little gap there that I'm not a big fan of. I'm gonna take a scrap piece of paper, just throw a little bit of glue right on there and just tuck it right in between here where I didn't get it completely flat. I don't want that coming apart. Fold that flat, give that a press. And voila. And while I'm at it, I'm just gonna kind of look around, inspect everything. I notice that this front piece is also not fully flat. Let's clean that up real quick. Just tuck a little bit of glue in there. There we go. Wipe off the excess and just press that down. Awesome. I want this thing to be nice and sturdy. Okay, so as I was saying, this chair part now, this is just gonna go and get glued right to the inside here. Okay, and once we get it in there, we can take it and just fold this whole thing flat and press down that way. It's just a matter of making sure that we get it in the right spot initially. Okay, so apply your glue to this entire element, like so. And if it helps, you can kind of put it this way. Don't smush it though, because you've got a little bit of the body kind of sticking out. Whoops. Yeah, it might be easier to do it this way. Yeah, it works fine. So just match up the chair part up here. Make sure that that's all lined up and then the rest of it will just naturally fall into place and then you can fold it flat and press down like so. There we go. Okay, and ultimately the chair is going to come up and then come down. And I see a little gap there too. I'm just super gappy today. That's okay. I'll just clean that right up. There we go. Perfect. Okay, well, all right, so now uh, I guess you can call this a little bit of a tricky part. It's not really that bad, but. Um, this is where we've got two little sections here. Okay, this section here is going to help keep the chair up or the seat up. Okay, uh, you can see here there's two folds. And what we're going to do, you can see that we've got these side elements here. These are going to get glued to the inside right here. We have to put some glue on this, slip it in there. And you can see how we have kind of a half circle here where the brad goes. It's, you're going to match that up. This thing, we can, we can move this out of the way for now. All we need to do is just match this up on the inside like this. I'll show you from this angle here. Okay, it's going to go like that. Okay, so it may actually be easier just to do one side at a time. And you can see this round part right here is gonna match up with this round part here. So why don't we do that? Why don't we just do one side instead of trying to do both sides at the same time? I think that will be easier on us. Let's 
Let's get that glue on there. And again, this little piece here has that little tab that sticks out. That's going to help keep the chair up. Um, so don't put any glue on that. I'm going to be careful not to apply any glue to that. Okay, so pop that in there. Match that up as accurately as you can. You can take a look at it from whatever angle you need to. And just hold that in place for just a moment. You can actually take that and flatten it. Okay, so you can see how that is glued in there. And then we're going to take this other side and bring it over here and glue that into place as well. I just think it's easier just to do one half at a time. Okay, so you can see this is the surface right here that we need to put the glue on, just like we did a second ago. And if it's kind of hard for you to get your, get your glue nozzle in there, it shouldn't be. It's just a little awkward, but there we go. I'll just bring this out like this. Very gentle, very easy on the glue here. The more glue you put in there, the longer it's gonna to take to dry. And with something like this, you wanna be as quick with it as possible. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold this and bring it in. And just line that up as accurately as you can. Take a look at it from the inside as well. And now while we're doing this, this is a good time now to make sure that it folds flat. Okay, and both ways. Okay, let's take a look and see what's going on here. There we go, got it. And it'll naturally kind of want to shift a little bit, but that's exactly how we want it. So that worked out perfectly. We'll grab the seat, pull it up, bring this down. Oh, and also these little tabs here, don't forget to lift them up so they hold this whole thing up. Okay. I might need to get a little exacto or a razor blade to lift that up. There we go. Let's bring the seat up. This is going to come down like that. And then the seat's going to sit right on that like so. All right, just about done here. We have our last little insert. And this is how it's going to work. Okay, when it comes off your mat, it's going to look like this. Uh, texture side is here. You're going to fold these up like this, and you're going to fold that down. This is going to be the hood, and we're actually going to glue this to this, but first we're going to get this insert in, in place. Okay, so you can see where this shape here coincides with this shape here. So what we're going to do, and I'm going to do this, I think, one side at a time, just to make it a little easier. You can see where that's going to go. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see, but that's gonna get glued right up there. And then the other side is gonna get glued to this side here. So let's do that. And again, those little tabs there, that this tab here and the other one in the same spot on the other side is to help keep the hood up. Okay, so let's very carefully pop this into place. Just match it up with that shape there. And there we go. That looks good. Bring this up. And then again, I gotta move this out of the way so we can fold this down very carefully. Press that down now. Just make sure that it gets a good hold. There we go. That's pretty spot on. Okay, and now, now, I was gonna say now and then at the same time. We're gonna take and apply glue to this other section here. And that is just gonna go right here on the other side, like this, right up against this little shape right here. Okay. So let's go ahead and get our glue on there. Now again, since this is on the inside, if you are comfortable with your glue bottle in there, uh, I'm actually just gonna paint the glue on there just because I don't wanna I don't want to make a mess. So let me get some glue on a scrap piece of paper. I'm going to go kind of heavy with it. Not too crazy. 
and then just go ahead and just simply paint some glue. Okay, so it could be helpful just to kind of hold it at an angle like this. Get your glue painted on there. You could try to do this all in one fell swoop and put glue on both sides of this little insert, but I, I don't I don't think that's gonna be I don't think it'll be very accurate if we do that. So I'm just gonna paint it onto this. Nice and easy. It's okay if you go a little heavier. Okay, and let's match that up with that side there. Okay, now before it sets, again, I want to make sure that it folds nice and flat. And that part can either go up or down, it doesn't matter. And there we go. Okay, so the whole thing is nice and flat, should be able to go flat both ways. And it does, okay? And don't forget about these little tabs in here. I might have to <clears throat> grab my little razor blade again to get this one to pop out because I kind of flattened it. It just needs to be up a tiny bit, okay? So this is where the hood's gonna go, like that. Okay, the seat's gonna go like this. Okay, so now all that's left to do is to glue our hood on here. And that's just gonna go on this piece right here, nice and flush all the way up to the front. So we only need to put glue on this black element here, like so. And then I'm gonna take a little bit, flatten this out and spread that glue out to the very edge there, like so. Then we'll take this, get that lined up as accurately as possible, I'm using my fingers here to feel, to make sure everything is nice and flush around the perimeter. And press that down into place, like so. Okay, and so that's gonna pop right in there. You got your steering wheel, there it is. Okay, and that's it. So now all that's left to do is just put our little wheels in place. Okay, and obviously the large ones are gonna go in the back. So just slide those through. And then we're gonna take and spread the little brad apart. We'll do the small front one on the one side. And the wheels actually spin, which is kind of cool. Okay. I'll go over here, make sure you don't destroy anything in the process. There we go. And the last one. And there we have it. Okay, so that should go in there nicely. Pop that down. And there we go. Wow, how about that? It looks pretty rad. <laughs> okay, so of course, it wouldn't be complete without a coordinating envelope to go with it, which we have here. And this one's a little, this one had to be a little bit bigger. Oh, by the way, so again, to fold this flat then, we're gonna lift this up, and we just need to make sure that we lift this part up or loosen it up. And as you can see, it folds flat completely. And you can technically, I would leave this up, but it should work this way too. You could bring it down and fold it that way. I kind of like it up because when your recipient gets it, um, it'll be easier and it won't get caught by those little tabs there. So when you're putting this, when you're getting ready to put this in the envelope, I would lift it up and then close it like that. Okay. And then that just goes down. This part needs to pop up a little bit. The seat goes down. And there you have your riding tractor. Okay. Anyway, let's take a look at the envelope real quick here. So this is the main part of it here. And I'm gonna just kind of use my little squeegee thing to loosen this up a bit. We're gonna take and apply glue to this large tab at the very bottom. Like so, spread that glue out, nice and thin. OK, 
Okay, and take this piece and just match that up as accurately as you can. Nice and centered, flush, right out to the edge of that tab. There we go. That's a good job there. Had to make the envelope a little bit bigger just because of how large this thing is, or how wide it is mostly. Okay, so there's that. Can bring that down, and what we'll do then is take and apply glue to these two tabs, and we'll close it up. Then we also have a little decorative flap and some little gears that are gonna go right on there as well on the actual flap. Okay, just like that. And it's starting to kind of dry out a little bit, so I might need to, might have to clean that up a bit. Bring these tabs in, grab this piece, and you shouldn't really have to do any sort of aligning here. It should just naturally fall into place as long as you got that bottom part properly centered. Press that down, give that a few seconds. And there we go. Let's take a look. Make sure it doesn't have any gaps. Okay. That looks good. All right, now we've got this little guy here. And he's going to go right inside here so that just a little bit of it is showing. Okay, so what we can do is apply our glue to this entire flap, especially out here towards the very edge. Okay, and I'm going to take this, just kind of nudge it up to the score mark, centered. And then you can take this whole thing and just bring it down. Press that down into place. And then of course you've got three little gears here and we have some little markers to help you with the positioning of the gears. Okay, so on the actual envelope flap, I'm gonna start off with this little gear here on the left. And the little markers there are actually for the tips of the gears. So just match those up. Okay. Then we're going to grab this one here and the little markers for this. There's one right here that actually goes in the middle of two of the little elements there. And it's going to go like that. Okay, and this last little guy here. Just throw a few little dots of glue on there. And a little marker there is for the tips of the little gear as well. There's, I think, three of them. So it's gonna sit just like that. Okay, so there's the coordinating envelope. And again, lift that up, seat up, that up. Make sure the seat is out of the way so it folds flat. And as you can see here, it will fit into the envelope perfectly. Okay, and again, to open it up, just make it a box and bring this down. Just kind of pop it in there, lift that up, this part down, and the seat down. And there you have it. Okay, lift that up just a tiny bit. Oh, it's there we go. There it is. All right, so that's going to do it. Um, yeah, this one's a little bit different, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please visit us on our YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that little bell so you get notifications anytime we release a new product, whether it be paid or free. And if you make this or anything from our Love Dad bundle, I'd love to see it, and so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Official. That's where you'll find myself and over 40,000 other dreamers that inspire us daily. So thank you again for hanging out with me. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos. And also, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. 
I look forward to crafting with you soon.